Hello, welcome to the AKDN podcast, where we interview different people who donate and contribute to the AKDN. I am your host, Zahi. In this episode, we are going to speak with Sophia Dawood, who has worked with the Aga Khan Foundation UK and Focus Humanitarian Assistance's Global Office and Focus Canada combined for nearly 15 years. AKF is the agency of the Aga Khan Development Network. The Agadon and Focus are the humanitarian arms of AKDN, which falls under the Aga Khan Agency for Habitat. The AKDN works in over 30 countries around the world. It currently has over 1,000 programs and institutions, many of which date back over 60 years, and some over 100 years. It focuses on health, education, culture, rural development, institution building, and economic development promotion. It is dedicated to improve the welfare, living conditions, and opportunities for the poor, without regard to their faith, origin, or gender, in particular in Asia and Africa. Please welcome Sophia Dawa to our show today. According to AKDN's website, for 100 years, the Aga Khan Development Network, AKDN, has worked to ensure that students of all ages have access to quality learning opportunities. The AKDN operates programs and institutions that span the educational ladder from early childhood programs to primary and secondary schools, from vocational studies for youth and adults to university degrees and continuing professional development. Each year, the AKDN reaches 2 million learners across 16 countries. Sophia, why do you think education is so crucial for developing countries and developed countries? Thank you, Zahi, for your warm introduction. It is a real pleasure to be here today to speak with you. Zahi, you've raised an excellent question about the importance of education. Education is important for children globally. When we look at education, we need to go beyond education alone. Did you know, as cited on the AKDN website, that worldwide, 200 million children under the age of five years old are not achieving their development potential due to poverty, poor health and nutrition, and a lack of learning opportunities? Most of these children are from disadvantaged households and communities in low-income countries. There are several stages of education, from birth to primary, secondary and higher education, to continuous learning. We never stop learning from the time we are born to when we are our grandparents' age, One of the most critical stages is from when a child is born to eight years old to develop their brain, the child's personality, and social behavior. Early childhood development, also known as ECD, programs ensure that young children have a good start in life. Many children don't have access to quality education. ECD programs through the AKDN address health, nutrition, care, access to quality education, and protection from harm. Did you know that AKDN's activities in early childhood development provide quality early learning opportunities to 750,000 children each year from birth to eight years old? That's impressive, right? If children become confident and enthusiastic about learning early on in life, they are more likely to be better students. Children who get a good start, do better in school, are healthier and function better as adults. Wow, I didn't realize that there were so many stages of learning and that I can still learn even when I am a grandparent. Thank you for sharing how important early childhood development is and how many children AKDN are helping through their ECD programs each year. Sophia, what motivated you to work for the AKDN? As a follower of His Highness the Aga Khan, I wanted to learn more about the work of AKDN, but more importantly, I wanted to be able to make a difference. 
Some of the ways I was able to do this was by organizing AKDN presentations, managing fundraising campaigns and events, showcasing the work of AKDN, and telling the stories of the people whose lives were changed for the better and how they were able to help themselves and others through AKDN programs. It has been such an honor to work with the AKDN. Every day was and continues to be a blessing to learn and promote AKDN's amazing work. That's very inspiring, Sophia. I hope I also get the opportunity to work or volunteer with the AKDN one day to make a difference too. We will get back after the short commercial break. This podcast is supported by the Aga Khan Foundation. We are countries of leaders, innovators, and global citizens. We want a more equal, pluralist world for all. More than 35 years, the Aga Khan Foundation has brought the best of Canada to the world, changed people's lives for the better. Join us to make an even bigger difference and celebrate all the ways we are Canadian. Sophia, it would be really helpful if you could share a couple of tips on how I or anyone can contribute to the AKDN. Zahi, that's great that you would like to help. One way you can get involved is through participating in the annual World Partnership Walk to raise funds for people less fortunate than us. You can also make a monetary donation and you can become a volunteer, which is very rewarding. Thank you so much for your time today and for sharing information on the AKDN. You have been very inspirational and I, like many others, want to learn more and would like to get involved. Hope you like this episode. See you next time.